So whether you've been stacking for two weeks or two decades, you're going to hear buzzwords and mantras galore. One that's making the rounds right now with a lot of gusto is central banks are buying gold and their pace is increasing. You're hearing it from all the usual suspects, the sponsored channels, the bullion dealers, the coin shop owners, central banks are buying gold. You know, you should do it for X, Y, Z reason. Now, the funny part is two things right off the bat. I didn't know that, you know, coin dealers or, you know, sponsored channels were really uh, keeping up with central bank policy. I didn't know that was one of their hobbies. You know, the, you think that these people are sitting there reading reports from uh, central bank on, banks on what they're doing? No. Only when it benefits the narrative do they decide, oh, hey, let's hype this or that up. So that's first, right out the gates. But secondly, again, you have to ask yourself, the type of people that you're dealing with when they're talking about central bank policy, it, it's, a, it's definitely a mixed bag. So here in America, I mean, the, the majority of people are probably high school graduates. And graduates of high school at that, again, with strengths and weaknesses, like us all, right? Many of them, economics, finance, are not going to be their stronghold. And that's fine. I mean, again, everyone has different strengths and weaknesses. However, these same people will give their thoughts on the economy as though it's a factual, as if it's holy writ. And it's interesting because they'll be like, the economy's in the gutter, the economy's garbage. Okay, great, let's have a conversation about that. Where are you getting that from? What makes you think, you know, the economy is in the in the tank? Well, you know, uh, I, you know, gas prices are high. I'm paying more at the market. You know, I can't get my hands on this or that. The economy's terrible. Okay. Well, you know, unemployment's at a record low. Average wage is near a record high. Uh, you know, the GDP is this. All those numbers are fake. It's all fake. Oh, okay. Okay, I can understand that. So what do you, uh, you know, when were you basing your, you know, the, the economy was good? When was the last time the economy was good? All right, well, why was it good during that particular time? Oh, well, because, you know, I was able to get gas for cheaper or I was get, you know, able to get this and that at the market for a lower price. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So right off the bat, you know that you're talking to someone who doesn't know what they're talking about, first of all, and using a word like the economy has no grasp of what that entails. But secondly, they're also making the common mistake of relating the general environment to their own personal situation. And we're all guilty of that in different forms and facets. It's not just something that, you know, these type of people do. It's, it's something we all do. But this is a particular example relating to this particular topic. Now, the interesting part is, at the end of the day, you have to ask yourself, again, with central banks, are they buying gold at an increased rate? Well, yeah, that's what the data says, right? Okay, interesting, very interesting. Now, you have to ask yourself, why is that happening? Why would that be happening? Again, if you hear it for you know from the usual suspects, they're going to paint it as, well, the central banks are hoarding gold because they see the writing on the wall that the dollar is going to die and that it's going to be a financial apocalypse. All right, so let's take it from there. So you're telling me that uh, the central banks see a financial apocalypse and the way that they're dealing with that is to purchase gold, like store gold in physical vaults somewhere, so that on the back end, once society as we know it crumbles down, that they can come back out and try to usher in a gold-based economy? Or they're, you know, are they making themselves a target you know, if that were to happen so that everyone can go get the gold. I mean, would you even be worried about gold if the system came crashing down? Probably not going to be your first thought. So again, when you ask yourself, when you hear these things and you hear these people like central banks are doing it, you need to get on on it. Again, they, uh, do you really think that these people are spending their time worrying about what the central bank does? Or do they only mention it when it fits the narrative? Uh, I would bet only when it's when it fits the narrative. You know, you never hear about central banks are unloading gold. I've never heard that. Interesting. I've never heard that central bank. I've never heard a channel talking about central banks are getting rid of gold. Nope. Nope. That's weird. That's weird how my coin dealer never lets me know when it's the opposite. Only when, uh, 
you know they're pumping it that's when the time when they're just letting me know what uh what's going on with gold and central banks but again there is a reason why central banks would buy would increase their gold purchases and it's actually fairly straightforward i mean it really is when you think about it you gotta hold value in something right and for central banks a lot of that's going to be fiat currencies a basket of different currencies in a time like we're going through right now where you're seeing inflation that creates volatility between the different you know fiat currencies now again with you know those of you who are like the dollar's gonna die and the bricks stop ridiculous ridiculous look at russia and saudi arabia or uh russia and india russia trying to sell oil to india and india saying we'll give you rupees and russia was like we don't want your rupees same thing with saudi arabia these countries are never gonna get it together the whole idea is garbage i get why that you know they keep hyping it and they keep it's just it's not it's not coming it's not gonna happen you can keep waiting on it you can keep holding your breath but uh you're gonna be underwater quite a long time but again with fiat currencies when you're holding them as your store of value there's a risk there again to the the general population here especially in america they have no concept that you know that that's even a a a reality that when you're holding a dollar in your hand that that dollar is losing value now that's a very basic concept and i think even you know the high school grads can con can wrap their head around that that dollar is not going to be worth it's not going to buy as much in the future so they can have a general concept of inflation but when you when you try to pair that with okay keep in mind there are many currencies on this earth and they're all floating in value in relation to each other that's a much more <clears throat> dynamic conversation and so where gold comes in is in a time like this where you're seeing inflation where you're seeing movement of value you can use a medium like gold which may have more stability than fiat currencies to maintain that value during that period it's going to be an ebb and flow just like everything else there's going to be you know upswings and downswings of, as we've seen with you know gold price however with a central bank that's a risk that they are willing to take which makes sense again large in institutions find uh, sovereign finance they don't have your time frame they can hold that gold for 30 years and they're not be worried about it they can also trade that gold at any time for, you know, to settle whatever accounts and, and things they need to do. So these are things that are far beyond the normal understanding of like the general populace. And yet people will speak about them with such conviction that, oh, that, you know, this is why they're doing it. Again, I can't stand that kind of stuff because the reality is like, you know, each of us have their, our own niche our own specialty which is why we all have different careers different education different you know skills that we use and to generalize and and make it seem like you know anybody and everybody is an authority to be able to speak on ec economic matters it's a disservice to you first and foremost it is a disservice to you because what you'll notice is that again it's very difficult at times when there's so much when we live in this in this age of instant information if you're constantly being bombarded with a topic and 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 it's being billed to you as truth if you hear it enough it'll start appealing to you and you will just, you will at some point start believing it i mean this has been studied many times like the psychology of human beings if you hear the lie often enough at first even if it's the most outrageous thing if it's pushed to you through different perspectives at a certain point you will start to believe it believe it or not it's it's a human i don't know if it's a flaw but it's a human it's a human nature aspect and so these kind of things like i said if you've been stacking long enough they've been in your face they will continue to be in your face but does that mean that you need to react to it no plenty of you in the comments say you know reiterate that you guys have seen it time and time again the ebbs and the flows the pumps and the dumps and you just stick to what you're doing because you just tune out all the noise at the end of the day is that probably the best strategy absolutely is it hard to implement yeah because again we're human we like to be hyped up about something we like to be interested in things and again look at the current environment look at this you know the falling demand for silver and gold on a bullion basis right now 
even though price you know price is falling so that if it was real estate people would want to buy it right but gold and silver nah i'll buy it when it's going through the roof that's the time i want to buy very counterintuitive again all of these different things all of these different sayings all of these different mantras you really have to step back and ask yourself what is really going on there is this really something that you know that is being is what it's being billed as because 99 percent of the time it's really not <laughs>